Hello folks, good morning to you. I hope today's uh, starting off to be a wonderful day and regardless if you're on the porch or driving in the car or maybe you're sitting in your office just catching a fresh breeze of the Word of God, um, I pray that our Lord meets you right where you're at this morning. Now today's going to be a little bit longer reading of Scripture and we're going to pick up at verse 29 in John's Gospel. And chapter 1, verse 29, and we're going to read all the way through the end of the chapter. So that's going to put us at verse 51. Um, you're going to hear this amazing, beautiful introduction to who Jesus is. You're going to hear of the baptism of Jesus. You're going to hear of how Jesus begins to accumulate uh, the people we are going to call the disciples. And... I'm going to invite you to hear it as it is a um, it's a lived experience. It's it's just one thing that leads to another, and yet any one of these events by themselves uh, have the potential to be life changing, earth changing. So listen now for a good word. The next day, he John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him and declared. Here is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, After me comes a man who ranks ahead of me because he was before me. I myself did not know him, but I came baptizing with water for this reason, that he might be revealed to Israel. And John testified, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it remained on him, Jesus. I myself did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water said to me, quote, He on whom you see the Spirit descend and remain is the one who baptizes with the Holy Spirit, end quote. And I myself have seen and have testified that this is the Son of God. The next day, John again was standing with two of his disciples, and as he watched Jesus walk by, he exclaimed, Look, here is the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him say this, and they followed Jesus. Then Jesus turned and saw them following. He said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? And Jesus said to them, Come and see. They came and saw where he was staying, and they remained with him that day. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon. One of the two who heard John speak and followed Jesus was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated anointed. He brought Simon to Jesus who looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You are to be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, we have found him about whom Moses and the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him, he said of him, quote, Here is truly an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. End quote. Nathanael asked him, where did you get to know me? Jesus answered, I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Nathanael replied, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than these. And he said to them, Very truly I tell you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Did you hear that ongoing narrative? Um, who Jesus is calls him 
now into fellowship. There's the, the beginning of Jesus's ministry with the anointing, um, the, the, the union of God, Jesus Christ, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the voice of God, the Father. They all come to bear through the witness of John, through the baptism of John. Now, ironically, the baptism that we have is for the forgiveness of sins, but most importantly, our baptism is the baptism of Jesus, which ironically is not the baptism of sin, it is the baptism of being the children of God. Think about that for a moment. If we are baptized into Christ, the primary function, I guess you'd say from the divine level, um, is it's an identity marker. Jesus did not need to confess his sins. Jesus was not forgiven for sin through his baptism. You and I are. But the primary work of baptism is the recognition, is the imparting of, of um, I guess you'd say, the overt presence of God to say, this is my son, this is my daughter. The next time you see a baptism being performed, imagine that. That yes, this person is going to be washed of their sin. You and I can't be the full children of God with sin accompanying us like that. But imagine that voice of God saying, this is my daughter, this is my son. And how does that change the way you view your own baptism? Yes, uh, just as a few little points here, this is Simon, who is Peter or Petros, um, St. Peter that is called uh, in our story today, and also um, kind of that miraculous knowing that Jesus brings to Nathaniel. Um, I've oftentimes thought, what would Jesus say to you? What would Jesus say to me if he saw us? Would, it, would there be something familiar known only unto God that he would say to you and I that we would click and go, oh, that is him, that is Jesus? Let's pray. God, we live uh, lives that fill our time with, um, well, preoccupations. It could be telephone calls or checking social media or um, television, newspapers, periodicals, whatever it is that fills our time. God, may we take a few moments in our life that, like Nathaniel, we may sit and ponder. Maybe we just be resting. Is it possible, God, that you even today would call to us in a way that's known only unto you? That every day our hearts would be reminded that indeed you are the Son of God, that you are the, the light of the world. God, that's what I pray for each person here in these words today. May this sacred, set-apart time be one in which they hear you call them by name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.